Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Cattle Call Hollywood Talent Manager. And look at this The Roads. That's one of Giovanni's movies actually leading the box office with a total box office gross of a billion dollars. And we still got like a couple days left before the run ends. But last episode, unfortunately, we lost Scarlett. Uh, she decided to leave the studio, so we've replaced her with Selena Ramsey, who it's kind of been difficult getting roles for so far. Uh, speaking of roles, I now pretty much have to look for everybody except for Damon because he's still out of whack. Uh, Devin, his pilot was turned into a TV series, so he's going to be doing that. For how long, I don't exactly know because I don't know if it's going to get renewed after the first season, but I guess we will see. But now, let the search begin. So for Selena, we've got the role of unrelenting girl because this is what I really want her to be at this point because I literally just need to get her foot in the door. Um, this is a minor support role in this movie called Where is Vigo Capra? It's a drama movie with a budget of $4.2 million with no script rating, so I'm hoping that this will give her a pretty good shot at it. The body type isn't there, the stunt work isn't there, but the height, the look is there, and the age is going to be there. Plus... Hopefully, the fact that my agency is pretty well known will we'll get her in the door there. I've been trying to get her in some all kinds of different roles, and it hasn't really helped me being a, a major, or not major, but a pretty well-known agency, so we'll see about this one. I just, I gotta get her in something, though. But, back to the search. Alright, for Melissa, we have the role of Wild Park Ranger uh, in this movie called Beautiful. It's an adventure movie with a, with a budget of 4.9 million. They should have just gave it $5 million. Anyway, uh, and a script rating of 44%. This is a major support role, which I'm pretty sure she should get. She's actually a notable actor now, so I'm think or actress. So I'm thinking this one should come easy for her, at least I hope. It's pretty much a perfect fit, minus the fact that she doesn't do dancing, but I'm going to submit it for it anyway. Uh, we might have to start starting, uh, trying to get her into some better roles after this. But you know what? We'll see what ends up happening. Now, we just got Giovanni left at this point. Which, actually, wait a minute. Did he... Did something happen? Giovanni's depressed. His contract expires in 30 days. Oh, boy. Oh, please don't do this to me now, game. Don't do this to me now. <laughs> if Giovanni leaves right after Scarlet, I'm just... There's nothing that I can do here. <laughs> I'm losing my biggest moneymaker if Giovanni decides to leave. I can't have him be depressed, but at the same time, it's just been so random with him. Hopefully we can find something to make him happy, though. Good lord. Alright, so for Giovanni, we've got the role of Threatening Elf in a fantasy movie. It's called Smiling, with a budget of $6.9 million and a script rating of 71%. It's a little bit below my standards for him, and he doesn't exactly have the special skills, but I'm pretty sure they will, they will enjoy having an A-lister on set. Hopefully this will increase his morale, because if not... I'm pretty sure Giovanni's going to be gone, and we're going to have lost two actors in the past two episodes, which is not something that I want. Alright, it's audition day for Selena, uh, so they're going to make their decision for her on the 11th, so we're going to speed up. Oh my god! <laughs> we just received a million dollars uh, after Giovanni's backing bonus in the roads. Alright, so that one, that was the one that was leading the box office. Uh, well, to it ended up with a total gross of $1.2 billion. Freaking great. Critics are raving about Melissa Kelly and Slippery Diamond. Let's see, they gave it a 67%. They said she was memorable as an apathetic doctor. All right. She thanks me for the role. Thank you for finally getting something. Hopefully you get this next one too. All right, but I'm happy about this money though. 5.8. Uh, in theaters now, Slippery Diamond. It's tanking uh, with 4.7 million. But you know what? It's not a bad movie. All right, so she's now auditioning. They're going to make their decision on the 13th. I didn't get to see when Giovanni's was going to be. Hopefully it's going to be soon though. Okay, Selena got hers. I finally got her freaking foot in the door. <laughs> it's about god dang time. All right, so she was number one out of 13 other, well, 13 people total. Perfect look, well, represented by well-known agency. Thank you, finally, for somebody freaking realizing that. All right, $8,000. She wants more. All right, we're going to see what we can do. She will accept. What's the most we can do? The most that we can do is 13, so we're going to try 12. Are they going to accept? They said 11. I'll take it. I just need her to get a roll, so I don't freaking care at this point. Eventually, we'll get her some better uh, roles anyway. All right, so Selena's got hers. Now we just got to worry about Melissa, who now has hers as well. Thank freaking goodness. <laughs> it's all coming together. It's coming together now. All right, so fits the age range perfectly. Perfect look. Well-known actor. Very charismatic. Represented by well-known agency. Labeled a model professional. Good job, Melissa. Good job. All right. This should increase her morale a lot too, but let's see. What's the contract? 470000 Okay, what's the most we can do? The most that we can go up to 
I don't think we've ever gotten the list of like a million dollar roll. I don't think we've gotten anywhere close to that. <laughs> so let's see. The most that we can go up to is 750,000. I'm going to drop it to 740 along with this box office bonus, which is what they offered us originally, I guess. So we'll see if they will accept. They dropped it to 730. But look, this is the most money Melissa's ever made, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to accept it. I'm pretty sure she'll be happy with it too. So that boosts her morale to superb. All right, Mr. Giovanni, it's left up to you. Audition day, and they're going to announce their decision on the 20th. Like I said, it's only you now. It's all left up to you. Where is Vigo Compras? Filming starts, cast, and... Oh, I was to say, I thought that was something else. <laughs> That's just the name of the movie. I don't know how I forgot about that already. All right, new top actress chart has been released. Giovanni's number two! Look at this! Look, look, at, look at how things have turned for us. Except if he leaves. If he leaves, then I don't care about him being number two. <laughs> I don't care. Where's Scarlet on the list now? I know she was on there before she left. I don't know if she's fallen off the list. See, that movie was such a big success that it boosted him from number 20 to number 2. If we can get him to number 1, he has to stay. Like, he can't... You can't leave. I've turned you into one of the greatest actors in Hollywood. And possibly one of the greatest actors of all time. You cannot leave. Oh, there's Scarlet. She's number 56. <laughs> By the way. Alright, so let's see. Oh, boy. So, critics are raving. Soldiers receive lukewarm, uh, lukewarm reviews. Where's the... That movie had a 95% script rating. Come on. Giovanni's wonderful as a skeptical vet. They gave it a 50. <sighs> Come on. All right. We'll have to accept it. Let's see. Giovanni's contract uh, back-end bonus has been activated. What about mine? Do I not get a cut out of that? How much was it? $30 million. It's brought in so far. It's doing okay. I don't get anything out of this back-end bonus. Nothing. I thought I was supposed to get money out of this. <laughs> I guess I don't get money out of it. But Giovanni did get his role. So he was number one out of a total of 28 people. All right. Perfect look. A-lister, very charismatic, represented by well-known agency, and labeled a model professional. Of course. Now, where's the contract? One point, is that 1.3 million? Or 1 point, not, well, a little over a million. Can we ask for any more? No, we cannot. He's willing to accept it, though. So I'm willing to accept it as well. First dollar gross. I don't, th well, I guess, I was going to say, maybe if it was a first dollar gross, I don't get anything out of that. I'm assuming. Selena, critics are raving about Selena Ramsey. Did she get a role before this? Did I get her a role before this? I guess I did. <laughs> I must have forgot completely about that. It was, was it this one? Who was in this movie? <laughs> Who was, oh yeah, she was. She got a major support. How did I forget about this? <laughs> I got her a major support role, and then it was like after that, I couldn't get her jack freaking squat. All right, so I got $103,000 out of Giovanni's role, which he's now currently superb. Swear to God, if the game makes him depressed for no reason whatsoever, and he leaves my studio in nine days, I don't know what I'm going to do. So now, we got to see what's going to happen. But Maximum Ares, so they were raving about Selena. They received lukewarm reviews overall. It was a 46%. I should have been able to get her more major support roles in if she's already gotten one. I guess I've already... Let's see. What? What? Hold on. I gotta look at her profile again. She has done... Oh, God. She's done so many auditions. I don't remember which one was the first one we did for her. <laughs> I guess Max and Mary's was the first one. That was in May. So she didn't get... So, yeah. That was the first one we got for her. And that was... And then we got this one. The Vigo Copper one. This, where did this one come into place? Why are these out of... I don't know why those are out of order. But okay. So we're okay. Alright, so now we got to see... Yes, I know. I'm aware and I swear I hope he stays. Selena is... She's now finished her acting course. She's increased her characterization. Improv, pretty much every other uh, stat considerably. So her stamina is now a 10. If it wasn't before. Um, she still won't do action, so that hasn't changed. But now her fame is average, so that's going to be... It's going to play out pretty well for us. Critics are raving about Damon Evans. All right, in the Sharks. What are they saying about it? 78%. Nice. Damon Evans is wonderful as infamous Starship Commander. All right. I think that was that last one that I put him in that I didn't even know if I really... I just kind of had to throw him in there. That might have been the one that they offered us, though. If I'm not mistaken. Because he did get offered a role um, just out of the blue. He... There's now an award system in this game, I think, I believe, is in the new update. I don't exactly know how it works, but hopefully we'll see. I think maybe at the end of the year, kind of like how the Oscars are at the beginning of the year or something like that, maybe we'll see some awards being given out. Damon is still very poor, so his condition hasn't improved enough for me to look for him any roles. 
I just want to see what's going to happen with Giovanni at this point. Uh, let's see. It's brought in $98 million, though. Look at that. That's pretty freaking good. Box office, the Sharks, is doing better than freaking Giovanni's movie. So, hey, it is a better movie. So, I guess you should expect it to do that, um, all things considered. I was looking at the all-time charts. The Roads is now number 15 on that list. That was Giovanni's movie. So, he's now got a movie in the top 15 all time. So, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. All right. Please, the moment of truth is almost upon us. We have two days left to see what's going to happen here. The 31st has come, and I believe the 31st will pass, and Giovanni is going to stay on for another year. Oh, I can breathe a little bit now. <laughs> I can breathe. I can breathe. Chris raving about uh, Damon Evans in The Choice, or In Choice, which is also some, I guess, being bashed by critics at the same time. I said he was sensational as a half-witted neighbor, but it got a 40% overall. The weekly box office trade is in, along with the weekly TV ratings, which I don't think Devin's show has made it to the air yet, so I don't think that's going to be in there. It hasn't. How long is he there for again? He's filming... Devin's going to be filming until September 12th, which I won't be able to find roles for him because he's still going to be stuck on TV, but at least we'll know. I don't know when it's going to debut, though. That's the only thing. But... I'm going to come back when somebody becomes available. All right, so Melissa was the first one to become available, so we'll look for some roles for her. Uh, Devin's now finished his filming, so he's improved considerably in pretty much every category. And the release date or the premiere date for that is going to be October 15th. So then we'll get to see how that show is going to do. And we'll see if it ends up getting canceled after the first season or not, which some of those shows, even though they're bad, somehow get renewed. So I don't even know. Like the show Scarlet was on got kept getting renewed, <laughs> even though it was terrible. And the show Damon was on, I think, was pretty bad, too. And they somehow kept bringing that back, even though he wasn't on it anymore. But time to search for Melissa, and we'll see what we can find. All right, so for Melissa, I've decided to go with the role of Uptight Explorer. It's a leading role in this movie called The Elite West, which is not a Western, but it's a drama movie with a budget of $4 million. Now, it doesn't have a script rating, so I'm not exactly sure how good it's going to be, but the role fits her pretty much perfectly, minus the martial arts and the Spanish accent. Um, but she's a notable actor. I think she'll do really good in this. Uh, so, yes, I'm sure. Maybe it'll make it into a pretty decent movie. All right, so we'll end up seeing so let's see when was the deadline for that by the way the deadline was the 17th all right anybody else available no well damon still is but he's still out of commission I, it's crazy melissa melissa's stamina is about just as bad as his but it seems like damon stays out of commission so much longer i guess i've been getting him leading roles though that's probably why too um that would probably explain things so he's probably taking a lot more out of him all right so giovanni's now done again everything's increased remarkably all right Mr. Giovanni, though his characterization hasn't, it's kind of dropping off now, it seems like. He's got three level 20s, which is pretty good. His vocal expression is almost a 20 now, and his stamina, of course, is still as amazing as ever. So Mr. Giovanni is now available again. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be able to find for him, though. Maximum Airs ends a box office run, and I got a commission bonus off of that. Well, that's I got it off of Slippery Diamond, actually. $8,000 out of that. And that means we got uh, Melissa some more money. Okay. Nice job. I'm pretty sure she'll be really happy about that, as well as the money that she's going to get from this next role that I hope she will get. But now I got to find something for Giovanni, which should be pretty easy. Actually, might not be because I still, I got, I don't want to put him in another 70. We got to look for 80s and above. And I might actually hire a script consultant this time, just to kind of see how that whole thing runs. All right, so for Selena, we have the role of uptight firefighter. Um, now, I know I said I was looking for roles for Giovanni, but I kind of found something for Selena first uh, since she became available. Still haven't seen anything to my liking for Giovanni yet, uh, but this is a leading role, which I'm kind of going out on a limb there. But I think that since it's a pretty low budget movie and it's a pretty bad movie, at least based on this, um, we'll end up seeing what happens. It's called The Dragon. It's a drama movie with a budget of $3.8 um, The The body type isn't necessarily there. She's fit. Um, and the horse riding is not there either, but, I mean, she's got average fame now, so I think she's going to be okay, at least I hope. I am going to hire a script consultant too, um, which is going to take one day apparently. $2,000 I'm spending on this. We'll see what they end up saying after that. Um, but let's see. I want to see. Where's my report? I want my report. Mr. Wolf is bashed by critics. Giovanni is devastated by the criticism. Ooh, what was this one? Is apathetic as outgoing neuros. I don't even remember this role. <laughs> Disaster film. Okay, well, 
You can't always win, can you, Giovanni? I mean, don't get upset. I swear if you're depressed after that, he's pleased. Okay. He's still all right. Oh, no, his status as an A-lister might be dropping after that freaking movie. We can't have that now, can we? Definitely can't have that. All right, I'm still waiting on my... Oh, wait, there it is, script doctor. Close, but no cigar. That's what your verdict was? So you'd pretty much confirm what my script was. I said it was a 40, and you said it was a 43. It doesn't really matter at this point now, does it? I've already submitted her anyway. But now we shall continue our search for Giovanni. Hopefully we can find something good, something that won't be a terrible disaster like whatever the frick that last movie I put him in where he just got that one back from was. All right, so doing our search, which is still ongoing for Giovanni because God knows I still can't find anything to my liking. Uh, critics are raving about Melissa um, in the movie December that she was in, which they're saying they gave it a 60. They said she was wonderful as a modest pregnant woman as well. She did lay in the last role that we applied her for, um, Uptight Explorer. So let's see. She was number one out of... 23 total people they said she fit the age and perfect look well-known actor very charismatic represented by well-known agency and labeled a model professional it's pretty much the same thing for everything but i'm happy about this so let's see the contract 622,000. this is already more than the last one is it actually no i think i got her 700 last time so this is the most they're willing to go up to because it's a low budget movie so it's a leading role i think it'll it'll increase her exposure so i think she'll be willing to take less any less anyway um, plus, it's still 600 grand. I mean, I get 60,000 out of it, so she gets like 500. So I think she'll be okay with that. But back to our search for Giovanni a role. All right, so for Giovanni, I've decided to do something that I normally don't do. I'm putting him in a comedy movie, and he's not going to be the leading man either because both the leads are females, which there's no problem with that. Um, so this movie has a budget of $7 million, $7.5 million. It's called I Am Deserted. Um, I did hire a script consultant who confirmed my script rating pretty much. It's a little bit less, but it's an 81%, so I think it'll be okay. Now, I'm thinking Wild Doctor, that was not the one. It was between, uh, I think, Crafty Widower and Dumb Street Vendor. <laughs> I mean, this one kind of fits him a little bit better, uh, minus the fencing, than Crafty Widower, which is kind of the accent. But, I mean, eh, I think he'll get it either way just because... It's Giovanni. I mean, does it really matter at this point? I, I'll do him for Crafty Widower, all right? And I'm pretty sure he'll do well in this. I'm pretty sure he'll get it. And let's see. That's now submitted. Soldiers and his box office run. And Selena changed her mind as well by action films. So now she's willing to do action, which she does have pretty decent physical expression. So that might be good for us in the future. That might that opens a lot more doors now. I wish all of my actors would consider doing things they normally wouldn't. Because then that would allow, that would make my job a heck of a lot freaking easier. More money for the sharks. All right. Great job. Great job. Who was in this again? That was, was that, da yeah, that was Damon's movie. He was a major support role in that. Okay. I got 170000 out of that. I'm trying to see what's going to happen. Selena got her role. Wait. Was she in up, was that the same role? Did they both, I got both of them for Uptight fire, Firefighter in two movies? Is that what it was? Uptight Explorer, okay, I was about to say, that's kind of funny, actually. All right, so she got hers. She was number one, name, actor, very charismatic, represented by one on agency. So this is her, I think this is her first leading role, because I think the first one I got was a major, the second was a um, support, minor support, and then this is her first leading role, all right? So, 317000 what's the most we can go up to here? I think you got more money to spend, all right? And you do, definitely. What's what's the most we can go up to? 570 I'll drop the 560 Oh, you dropped the 550 Okay, I'll take it, all right? All right, Selena, I hope you're happy about that. I hope you're happy indeed. All right, so now we got to wait on Giovanni to see what's going to happen with his, which I'm pretty sure he'll be okay. Um, let's see what we got. Creators are raving about Devin Terry. I think he's done filming now. Um, on the website, uh, industry leading act. Oh, okay. This is actually doing pretty well. Enigmatic as Lovable King. It's got a 67%. But the question is, what are the actual TV ratings looking like for it? That is the real question, which it's still not on the air yet, I don't think. When is it? I, I forget already when it's supposed to be back on the air. So he's now done filming. So let me see. Devin, Test of the Year Series Duties. This is going to be... I can't see it anymore. God dang it. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to wait then. But at least he's done filming now. All right. Duties. Dame is offered the role of conceited starship pilot in the twist, so he's getting offered another role. Selena's now started filming. Oh, there's the series premiere. All right, they aired their first episode. Earned a rating of 3.15 in the 18 to 49 demo. Se uh, season finale will air on January 14th, 2022. 
All right, so let's see. Giovanni is not, I mean, Damon is not at his best, but this is a leading role. I mean, he's not at his best. He's still very poor, but I think he can do it. I mean, it's going to strain him, but I mean, if they offered it to him, I think we should take it. I mean, $450,000 is not a lot for him, but I mean, it's something. He's been out of work for like months now, so I mean, I guess I'll have to you know, go ahead and go with that. If he wants to do it, and I've accepted it now at this point, so <laughs> it is what it is now. All right, so now we got to wait on Giovanni. Mr. Wolf ends his box office run with a total gross of $2 million, which is an absolute failure. Uh, Giovanni's audition day, they'll announce their decision on the 20th. Top actor's charge has been released. Giovanni's still number two. He still can't break to get number one, but he'll get there eventually. So Duties is the number five show on the air right now with an uh, average rating of 67%. So it's it's one of the better shows that's on. Most of these shows are terrible. This show has a 99% though, and it's still down here. I don't even understand how that's possible. Um, but I guess it, maybe it's, cause it's towards the end of the season now uh, for that show. So maybe that's why it didn't just debut. So I think this show will probably get renewed for him. So he'll probably be on TV for a minute unless he does something to get fired, which... I don't think he will. I think he'll. I think he'll stay on. I think he'll be great. But Mr. Giovanni, what have we got for you? Please tell me it's good. Of course it is. <laughs> Landed the role of crafty widower. Weekly box office charts in. Weekly TV ratings are in. Isn't this the one I just looked at? Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Back to my contract negotiation here. What have we got? Of course he was number one out of. Oh my God, 31 people. All right. Very charismatic. A lister, represented by one on agency, and labeled a model professional. All right, what's the contract? Oh, he's not happy about the contract. It's a million dollars. The thing is, though, is I can't negotiate any more money, so we're going to have to get net points out of this, and hopefully they will accept, which they do. Otherwise, Giovanni is probably going to walk out of that freaking movie deal. All right, so I got 100000 out of that, and that's pretty much all we got. Everybody else is pretty much doing roles, so I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.